tomatoes in water. I have them right here. And uh, what I did was after they're done, I cooked them, uh, cooked them firm. And you do want to test them with a uh, with a uh, not a knife. You don't use a knife because when you use a knife, you're going to end up with uh, a potato that's t uh, not quite done enough because the knife does cut. So you use a toothpick or a fork and um, cook them firm. So these are firm cooked potatoes. And um, whoops, the reason that I um, didn't peel the potatoes before I burned, uh, boiled them was because when you peel them ahead of time and then boil them, and even if you're making potato salad or something, you will get uh, kind of a crusty skin on the outside of your potatoes. So you get a nice uh, softer potato when you peel it after you boil it. So these are still a little firm. I'm going to put them in here. And I, I didn't slice them too thin. And next we're going to put some apple on them. My favorite is a Granny Smith apple. And I picked that because it's got a little tart flavor and it's nice and firm. There we have that. Let's see here. And here we have one of my favorite tools. And this is makes apple, you know, I would never peel apple if I didn't have one of these. This makes apple peeling about as easy as it can get. Okay. Voila! Now, you know, there's another lady that has a cooking show, and if she was here, she'd probably make you a sweater out of this. And just fan this out. And I'm going to season it. So this is called spiced apples glazed. Now you notice we didn't add any butter yet. Uh, let's see here, brown sugar. I'm going to put cinnamon and nutmeg. One of the things when you're using spices or when you're making things with reduced fat, if you use plenty of spices, people are going to appreciate the flavor and they won't even notice that you didn't put any butter in there because this is going to be nice and rich. And it's get a nice caramelized flavor without the butter. And I need uh, brown sugar, a uh, half a cup. This looks like a half a cup, doesn't it? Put that right on there. And that's oven ready now, ready to go. And the beauty of this is, with the exception of the apples, you can do all the work a day ahead of time. Hi, it's Deb with Now We're Cooking. And we have our beautiful turkey dinner here. Just got the sweet potatoes out of the oven and they are cooked to perfection. Uh, aren't they beautiful? We used a nice spice combination, which was going to reduce uh, or make it taste better so people didn't know we didn't put any butter in. Cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and allspice. It is excellent. It's beautiful. We can send them to the table right like this because we baked them in a casserole. Uh,